Hello, welcome to my video blog for May. Early this month I hosted our annual conference for the presidents and secretaries of local law societies. It's a flagship event for the law society bringing together local leaders from our profession from all over England and Wales to discuss common challenges, to share experiences, to hear practical advice from peers and invited experts. 55 societies were represented. I also spent a couple of days in St Petersburg where at their invitation I addressed the Russian Federal Chamber of Advocates annual conference. I spoke alongside representatives from the German Federal Bar, the French Bar, the Hong Kong Law Society and the American Bar Association. The subject of my speech was legal practice models fit for the future. Other jurisdictions are really keen to learn from us on how our successful practitioners have adapted our practices to fit changing market conditions. On the 16th of June I was delighted to lead off the London Legal Walk which brought together over 10,000 people. It's estimated to have raised somewhere approaching £750,000 for the London Legal Support Trust. It was the most successful walk to date. Solicitors, barristers, the judiciary and law students took to the streets in a 10k walk that started and finished in Chancery Lane. There are legal walks all over the country too. I've joined solicitors at the ones in York, in Nottingham and Newcastle so far. I'm off to Leeds very soon for theirs. They really are vital fundraisers. Access to expert legal advice is a fundamental principle, so it's fantastic to see so many lawyers come together because they passionately believe in access to justice. For a list of the walks taking place around the country, please go to the address below and join in this really worthy cause. The Queen's speech has recently been delivered to Parliament, outlining the government's legislative agenda for 2016-17. The 21 bills listed include the re-announcement of the government's plan to publish a British Bill of Rights, although we're unlikely to see any detail until well after the EU referendum. There were also plans for modernisation of the courts and measures to curb tax evasion, plus an important change to intellectual property rules which follow an extended campaign and lobbying by the Law Society's Intellectual Property Committee. For more information, take a look at the links below the video. An interesting feature of the Queen's speech was the modern transport bill. It proposes legislation to pioneer driverless cars and new rules to bring safe commercial and personal drone flight use for households and businesses. I recently spoke about the legal liability issues of technology and the use of artificial intelligence at the Legal X conference, including how technology is driving change in the profession. The Law Society is really keen to keep members up to date on this subject as machine learning technology has made significant progress in recent years and will, I think, be able to give a real competitive advantage to those who are able to utilise it. A key question on which we can take a lead is whether any new law or legal concepts are needed to govern artificial intelligence and machine learning technology. There are different opinions on the point. Some say that existing law is sufficient, others that existing regulation could be adapted to respond to new risks. Others again think that fresh legislation is required to address the risk posed not only to new technology, but also the changes in human behaviour which accompany it, including questions of liability where human interaction is remote from the decision-making process. You can hear more about the issues of accountability and safeguards in my podcast, The Application of the Law to Machine Learning and Artificial Intelligence. This is one of a series of podcasts ahead of what I hope will be a fantastic conference here at the Law Society. It's part of London Technology Week. Lawyers and Robots, a partnership for the future. It takes place on the 21st of June. It's free. Sign up using the link under this video. Thank you for following my blog. Those of you who already follow me on Twitter, if you don't, now's your chance to join the network. Follow my legal commentary. You can find it by searching at Lawsock President. See you next month. Thank you.